Tonight, a News Channel 3 special report about a little girl who needs our help. The Kalamazoo area has recently become home to a 13-year-old girl from Northwest Michigan named Isabel Stapleton, Izzy for short. Her parents never dreamed they'd have to live apart from her, but they finally decided they had no choice. You see, Izzy is autistic and prone to extreme violence. Izzy's mom is afraid she will die at the hands of her own daughter if Izzy does not complete her treatment here, and they have no idea how in the world they're going to pay for that. Here's their story. I have no reason to think I'm going to survive this. Kelly Stapleton is in the fight of her life, trying to save her daughter from self-destruction and from killing her. She's going to come home, and this is not going to be pretty. Well, you said to me she's going to kill you. She will. You feel that way? Yes. You see, there's more than meets the eye when it comes to Kelly's 13-year-old daughter, Izzy, with her bright smile and pretty blonde hair. Izzy is dangerous. One day, not long ago, she beat her mom unconscious in their car. And we were on the highway, and she started to overpower me, so pulling my hair, pulling the steering wheel, and uh, I knew this was going to be bad. <laughs> but it was after an even more violent attack that Kelly recorded in a desperate attempt to get help from her local community mental health that she finally reached her breaking point. I was screaming to my local CMH, without exaggeration, screaming to them that I needed help. But as sad as Izzy's story is, it had a happy beginning. Kelly met her husband Matt at Kalamazoo College and they got married right after graduation. Three beautiful children followed, including Izzy in the middle. It wasn't long though before they knew something was wrong. We are happy people, so having a really unhappy baby all the time, something wasn't right. Izzy would soon be diagnosed with autism, and her parents, relieved to finally have an answer, began early intervention, which showed promise at first. But as Izzy grew older, her temper grew shorter, and her parents simply couldn't control her. She would still rampage and just get so angry and frustrated. With no access to behaviorists in Northwest Michigan, the Stapletons tried everything else from medication to pediatric psychiatry. We asked for help for a long time and we were told ridiculous things like remodel your garage and put her in the garage, put her in foster care. Until finally in January, the family found the Great Lakes Center for Autism Treatment and Research in Portage, a residential facility for children with extreme behavioral problems willing to take Izzy in. Well, she might have a couple days where she's fine, but when she does have a problem, um, when she does have an episode, it's typically going to be a big one. Carly Piacentini is a certified behavior analyst who's been working to calm the violence within Izzy. And quite often, that means becoming the target of Izzy's aggression, captured on camera in recent weeks. One time, it took three adults to restrain her. If she continued to hit me repeatedly on the head, she could have done a lot more damage. At that point, it's safer to actually go in and physically move her away from me than it would be to let her continue doing what she's doing. She'll do that behavior to get access to things she wants. Dr. Lloyd Peterson is clinical director at the treatment center. He's found after weeks of observation that Izzy only attacks to gain what's called access to tangibles, things or people she wants. And hearing no is her trigger. One, two. A breakthrough for the staff because now they can use rewards to teach her replacement behaviors. We're able to control the environment, we're able to control our behavior, and by doing so, control Izzy's behavior so that she can get better. But Izzy still has a long way to go, and her family will have to find a way to pay almost $800 a day just to keep her here, ideally for another six months. Izzy does need to stay here a little longer, but she's not ready to transition out yet. And we don't keep them here forever. We keep them here till the data says, move them on. Although she's not sure where she'll find the money, Izzy's mom is optimistic. We're just going to make sure she's a success. We're not going to let her fail whether she gets full treatment or not. Isabel's not the only one. There are others in the same situation. So, you know, we just want to kind of build a clear path for Isabel to get successful treatment and have it be a wide 
definite path so other kids can come along too. Izzy's mom keeps a blog to track Izzy's progress and they can thank their family and friends, also neighbors, for raising money to keep Izzy here for now. But the money runs out next month and Izzy should be here another six months. To learn more about Izzy, you can check out her Facebook page, Team Izzy, or follow her progress on Twitter. And for information about donating, visit WWMT backslash links. Well, we'll continue to think about this family and of course our hope is that Izzy gets the help that she needs. Yeah, and she is such a sweet girl. Yeah. She really just does need professional help, and that does not come cheap. No, it doesn't. All right, we'll be right back after a quick break. Stay with us.